Yeah, that's 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 what it is because it's like, especially you, like that makes sense for you considering where you came from, such an inauthentic environment. Yeah, yeah. For you doing exactly yeah. what we're trying yeah, to say yeah. is be like other people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which makes so much yeah, sense because of your background, uh -huh. and you need those experiences to find your authenticity exactly. as well. Yeah. Hundred percent. And like, you know, my experiences are different from anybody else's because. I have so like negativity drives me, and I'm, that's what I'm always trying to be better than. Okay. And I will take take out physical pursuits to help me find my peace. Okay. And but it also furthers me towards the mission, mm -hmm. which is yeah. like a, a amazing byproduct. Mm -hmm. And another thing about failure is people, you know, aside from people attaching themselves to unrealistic standards, yep. they are closed minded. Most of the time, yeah. like, because of the discouragement that it causes. I find wisdom that is, like, so useful for me in terms of a martial artist's perspective from just, like, like, some, like, cartoons and shit. You know, like, there's, like, a, the example I use is, it was a Ninja Turtles episode where Splinter's talking to Raphael about his, about his anger. And it's, like... Words can only be daggers unless you let them. You need to have... Words must be water, and you must be a stone in a river, and let it flow there over you. you. Yeah. And, like, that came from a kid's show. <laughs> yeah, dude. And But it's like, you can find wisdom in the weirdest of places. Yeah. Like, I like I love chess. It's such a fun yeah, game yeah, for yeah. me because it, it fires off neurons in my brain yeah, like yeah. nothing else. Cause yeah, it, yeah. And it, it, ta it uh, taught me problem-solving skills. That, like, I, it, to, another thing that was, like, a good piece of wisdom is, like, combat is like a game of chess. You need to know where you are and where you're going. And, it, like, if that is the case, like, MMA fighters are masters at playing. And it's, like, these are skills that are unorthodox in, like, in their application, or not application, in their discovery, yeah. but universal in application. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, from an FBI point of view, I'm trying to get better at, um, like, I guess forensic psychology is kind of the word. I'm trying to get better at reading people. And poker is a very good method of, of, yeah. of conditioning those skills because you have to figure out like the James Bond call from Casino Royale. <laughs> Amazing movie. Yeah, yeah. I watched it again recently. Too good. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, it's like, it's like you don't play your hand. You play the guy across from you. Oh, shit. And you oh. can pick up on those tells. It's going to be three moves ahead. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But oh. that's like, that's, you need to pull your wisdom from so many sources and apply them in scenarios where they are applicable. Yeah. Uh-huh. And a Bruce Lee quote. Not conform yourself to yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. uh, like back to being yeah, flexible. Yeah, yeah. But like Bruce Lee said, you take in what is useful and discard what is not. Yeah, man. And uh, I forget exactly what you said, but okay, yeah, yeah. It was kind of going back to like your martial artists and fighters type of thing. Yeah. Remember, like two episodes, we talked about how fighters like instinct. Like when you're in a ring, right, or a fucking octagon, right? or a street. You're fight. not. You're not. Yeah, or a street fight when you're getting fight or flight takes over. You're right? operating on instincts. Yeah, yeah, operating on instincts, and when you can, when you can channel. That inner wisdom, right? That does not have a voice. Mm -hmm. That does not think with words, but is intuitive, right? Conditioning, conditioning, right? And so, yeah, it, it, that's how it develops, right? Mm -hmm. And then fights, you, you you see a guy coming at you with a fuck, you know, and then you you just you know naturally go like that, yeah. right? That kind of wisdom is applied knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. And experience. That's where the knowledge that you because knowledge. Anybody can attain knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. But how you apply it and then yes. it actually takes effect, that is completely different, Absolutely. right? Because you could... You, okay, so within your conscious 5 to 10% range of your consciousness, right? You can't hold all the knowledge in the world, right? No. No, it's just, it's just impossible, right? Because our thoughts are fragments and our thoughts can only hold so much content, right? And so when we develop this kind of wisdom, this kind of like intuitive knowing... It's it's a force to be reckoned with, right? Absolutely. And so the more you fail, the more you kind of experience this, I guess, perceived failure, right? I'll just say situation or circumstance. The more knowledge you're going to have coming into new situations within the present moment. Because we are conditioned by our past. 
Yes. Right? And so the more we experience failure, maybe not intentionally, <laughs> but kind of intentionally at the same time, the, that one day, one day, you will see success. Yes. Right? And that is when the applied knowledge takes effect. And whether you, however you define success, whether that be for this YouTube channel, be views, right? I can even apply this to me doing cinematics. I remember when I first did cinematics, I was fucking terrible, right? But now, embrace like... Embrace the suck. Yeah, embrace the suck, right? And so I continue to keep doing it. You know, I'm not like some type of professional guru trying to... Like, I'm not trying to like get insane at it. I'm sure I could if I really wanted to. It's just kind of like a little side hobby I like to yeah. do. But now I'm actually pretty fucking decent at it. Yeah. You know, and it's... All that applied knowledge, I'm like, I'm editing in the software, and I'm like, oh, yo, this would be sick. And I didn't have that awareness that I could do that before. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, like, I was, I would never have thought of that if I didn't have that past experience, mm -hmm. you know, or that outside perspective, like yeah. you were saying, from, like, such as different sources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah like, like the Twin Flame cinematic is, yeah. is one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just, it's, it's so streamlined. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, it's, it's so cool. And I'm not, I don't normally partake in that type of content, but yeah, that yeah. was like, that, it was, yeah, that that's was my favorite too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's like, uh -huh. you get that far uh -huh. from constant practice. Yeah, 100%. Like, that ambition must maintain yeah. if you are to master anything. Yeah, dude, for real. And that's hard to do. Uh -huh. It's hard to keep that drive. Uh -huh. But like. Batman is a good example. Another unorthodox wisdom. Like he yeah. had a he had trauma that drove his mission and he would not let anything stop it. Mm -hmm. And he continues with his mission every night fighting crime from the rooftops of Gotham City. <laughs> but it's like I saw a um a, a line from um it was Batman Damned, a recent comic that came out a couple years ago that was very controversial because it was the big comic that showed Batman's dick. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, because it was like black label. We can oh, do shit, no. but nonetheless, it was a really good story. Yeah, 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 but yeah. the one line was like, "To be so driven that failure is meant violently and efficiently must be exhausting." And it's like, I think that was the Joker saying that, or someone, yeah, someone yeah, narrating yeah. the that particular thing. But that's. That's Batman's character. Yes. He is ambition and drive and trauma yeah. and uh -huh. negativity and anger. Yeah. And he adapts that yeah. into his into his like mission. Yeah. But it's like that same ambition, though sometimes like so that eh, though sometimes very toxic. Meeting failure with motivation is very very useful. Mm -hmm. And that's how I look at it. Yeah, for sure. It's because failure is very much a reset point for me. I find myself training and training and practicing, practicing, learning, getting better. And I fail. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, where can I improve? Yeah. What I am, here's the line in the sand. Yep. How do I, how do I vault over it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that, that, that ambition like in perspective is very important to get better at anything. 